So it's been three years since NECA decided that they were going to make the Bride of Chucky, Tiffany, and Chucky dolls replica. And Tiffany came in, and Chucky's supposed to come next month by the end. Uh, on the box it says 525. I don't know if that's all they're making or if they're going to restock soon. But uh, she came in last night. I was way too tired to make a video, and I got them behind me now. So, I think I wanted to do an unboxing video of her and see, because I like, I didn't look up anything after I ordered these. I forgot about what they were going to include, what they were going to, she was going to be able to do or not do. But I saw some pictures, I try not to spoil myself, like looking at them. So, right now I'm going to unbox her and see what she looks like. Now this is a cool box. It's it's a big good thing. It's like Chucky's except we did it for her. I believe it's both. Yeah. Really, really cool. This is Zivak. I will say the ones that I did see like other people getting, it seemed like her hair was in this like hairnet. Mine looks like it broke. Not like I need it, but just an observation right now. All right, let's see how easy it is to take her out. Should be pretty straightforward. badass already all right I'm gonna cut it because it's gonna take a while to get her out so here she is and she looks amazing look at these boots <laughs> so yeah she looks incredible this is i love the leather jacket because the one behind me is from seed of chucky and she kind of ditched the jacket in that one in that replica over there but she's like insane what i saw when i was opening the box was um comes with Tiffany's necklace, which is weird because the seed one doesn't have it, and so I thought she had that throughout the movies, but I could be wrong, could be not just seeing it, ta-da, also at the bottom of the packaging, there's instructions on what she can do even move her eyes would you look at that but it does say move do not move past these points because you can damage so i mean it's a good thing they have this because 
can't be reliable if you fuck it up. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with how this came. I like the leather jacket, the boots, even the the color on the face, because when you look at uh, Trick or Treat Studios, sometimes they can be like over blushing or just not like the greatest paint job. It's like very pink, but yeah, they think they've got this and her eyeliner and everything. It's insane. Like. She looks sick. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely pleased with this. And the box itself, it's, it's now gonna be like a piece of art to who's collecting these. But now, let's see. She has like this gap right here. Not like they, they they can't they just turn side to side, but you know. But uh yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely pleased with these. And as you can see, they are night and day versions of Tiffany. And I also like I said, I noticed a couple of things. Like, the makeup on this one is hands down better. I mean, you can, you can see that it definitely, this one I might actually do a paint job, a rehaul on myself, because it doesn't seem it would be that difficult to fix her up, considering. But also, I've noticed that I don't, I mean, I have to look this up, but her tattoo of Chucky, it looks a lot different than this tattoo. You can see the, the font's different, even it's more bold. It's, the heart is like right side up and kind of slanted on this one and different, but this ain't a shot at tots because they do make good products, and uh, I do like this Tiffany, but NECA, they just, they know how to get likeness down. Uh, the Ninja Turtle line, they do it with the Universal Monsters, the horror characters, they just, they know what they're doing. And this obviously shows off their work. And I don't know about them doing replicas before like um for dolls or anything like that um i know trick-or-treat does the gremlins and the whole licensing issues which is i'm surprised when i heard that NECA was doing bride of chucky because i was like i thought tots would have that but they are two completely different licensing um but yeah i don't know if i can say any more about this this is definitely my favorite piece from NECA and I have most of their uh, movie Ninja Turtle line so I am definitely definitely excited to see how uh, Chucky looks even the whole stocking and her boots and in this one sorry but like I said, I haven't seen the movie in a while. It's not my favorite, but she's wearing heels in this and uh, Spanx, apparently. But yeah, it's just, they got it. They got everything I wanted in this doll. And yeah, she might have to get a little shrine to her because she's beautiful. Nice job, NECA. Now I have to wait until Chucky comes, which is the end of next month, hopefully. Um, that's still on track. And then I'll do an unboxing for him. <laughs>